Good day, Peace Warriors and friends. How is everybody today? I'm Lonnie. I'm having a good day. I uh, love uh, the weather that we've had lately. It's beautiful. I love to see springs uh, coming and the trees and flowers blooming, though it seems premature. I think that's because uh, it was so warm in February. But uh, here we are, enjoying it. So I am here today with the next word that my guides and angels gave us uh, as a lesson or guidance or message uh, that they wanted to share. So the word that was given to me is higher. And what they meant about higher, and higher can mean many things, right? Uh, what they meant in this instance about higher is the that we have several versions of ourself um, and we don't, we really, we think that this is the only version we have. We think that we are stuck in this body and this existence and this predicament that we're in and it's definitely not the case. Uh, there are several versions of us and as you guys know since you are um, uh, folks on uh, ascending a uh, path, you know that there are different timelines and different versions. Uh, therefore, there are different versions of you. They were saying that we can tap into the higher version of ourself to focus on what would that would look like and try to bring ourselves into that position of the higher Jane, the higher Lonnie, the higher Bob, uh, and when, especially when we're in a down um, place, like we're, we're going through some depression, there's things that we're not sure what we're going to do, just meditate on the higher version of you and like the, what the high road, what the, you taking the high road would look like. And then when you do, you snap into that timeline. Because you believe, try to believe that you are this higher version and you will take the higher road. We can, they said, we can shift from the different versions of us at any time. And that is our choice because that's all we have. And we are in a free will existence. Not every entity in the universe says have a free will existence. So we are blessed to have free will. As a free will being, we can choose our reality. We can choose the self that we want to be. And they wanted to get that out that you can be the higher you anytime you want. Just make that intention. Another thing that they, they mentioned when it came to higher is they were pointing out, do, do many of you have ringing in your ears? This started for me, I don't know, I've been on a spiritual path a long time, but probably 2014, it was before my mom passed, maybe 2013, maybe 2012, like the, the Mayan, the, the true beginning of the, of the beginning. 2012. It could have been then. Anyway, so it got stronger and stronger and it never really bothered me. I always knew using my intuition, intuition, I always knew that it was a sign or a message from spirit. And I did, couldn't always place what they were trying to say. What they told me today, what, what the guys and angels told me today is that the, the tone that we're hearing in our ears is always our higher self. So not our oversoul higher self, but our higher, the higher ex personality existence of Lonnie in this life or you in that life. So they are assisting us because when we tune into that tone in our ears, we get, we can elevate ourselves to a higher frequency. They are assisting us by giving us that tone in our ears. And I know I love this message because I, I get that question a lot. A lot of my friends, a lot of people I know have that, the ringing in their ears. 
and and, and me as a tunative and intuitive they ask what does that mean and I pull a card or what I, I see but universally and it does mean different things to different people but they're saying universally that the tone that you get in your ears is to assist you with raising your vibration to that level don't ignore it if it bothers you you know you can deal with it however you but it's never bothered me I always loved it I always say especially when it comes in really strong and loud I always say thank you thank you for that message because often it's a download that I don't know and don't get consciously it's something that I feel vibrationally so I always say thank you. So I love this message. I love that I know what exactly, besides saying thank you, which is always important because gratitude is a high, very high frequency. I will say, I will tune into that tone and I'll maybe hum it along and that will help raise you up. I love that. As I often love many messages that uh, the guys and angels give us, I uh, adore having guidance that way and have uh I've released into it like I don't fight it or question it anymore like I used to it's like oh uh, my voice is in my head I'm going I'm going crazy I um just submit to it like this is it and I and I feel into my gut and it like I it's like I just skip my mind I'm that doesn't make any sense to you. <laughs> Let me clarify that. I leave my mind, my thoughts out of decisions a lot. And I follow my guidance with my gut and the, um, and my guides, which always comes through these chakras, your heart and your, um, your solar plexus. So I'm going to pull a card from my love farm Oracle deck that I created and see the message that they have about higher, higher. And this one's just calling my name right here. Okay, cooperation, pool fund, which the pool will be open, our pool will be open in a few months. It's about to be that season, it's crazy how time, there, how time not time flies. So eight is the numerology number, um, which is infinity and cooperation um oh okay so what they're showing me so much when it comes to cooperation because there's many facets of cooperation when we raise into our higher self we're guided by our guides to raise to our highest position so the cooperation with our guides um but also cooperation with our self so the splinter of this personality that's in our oversoul, we're cooperating with your um, life plan. And if we raise to our higher self, we are cooperating with our, our self, really our, the bigger versions of our self to get the things done that we want to do to accomplish what we had planned to accomplish. Even if it's not physical things, if it's just being more peaceful, whatever it is, we are cooperating with our higher self to to make our plan um, come out the way it should. And then also they're saying the cooperation also works with the people that are in our life. If we become the higher us that we can be, cooperations, they're saying cooperations easier, better, to, they're saying stronger bonds, more love, more relationships, bigger communities. They're just throwing these things at, at me right now. Um, so cooperation in many, many facets when we can try to take the higher road, follow our, the higher self and what that would look like and listen to the tone in our ears and match it. So, so the cooperation from our guides will, um, will come through completely. All right. Love you guys so much. Thanks for listening. I love doing this and sending, getting messages to you. So, um, until next time I will, uh, go off. I am going off to Sedona. So, uh, I'll see what kind of tones I get in my ear there. 
a highly spiritual place, um, even more than Motto Farm. Well, it depends. <laughs> I love this place too. Okay. Love you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.